Hello guys, hope you are all okay, you are all enjoying your life and welcome back to Dr. Arshad Nadeem Awan Radiology Differential Diagnosis Series. Uh, today I am going to uh, discuss about the differential diagnosis of multiple sclerotic bone lesion. This uh, is related to the x-rays when you come across multiple sclerotic lesions within the bone. So there's, um, this, this includes a wide range of differential diagnosis starting from the developmental. In the developmental, uh, you must think about the fibrous dysplasia. Fibrous dysplasia happens to be single or maybe multiple. Uh, maybe tuberous uh, sclerosis. Uh, these two are the developmental abnormalities in which you may uh, come across with multiple sclerotic bone lesions. It might be because of uh, new plastic like uh, lymphoma, uh, metastasis, uh, multiple myeloma these are all happens to be either single or multiple so you can see solitary or multiple sclerotic bone lesions on the x-rays as far as uh, idiopathic is concerned Paget's disease is one of the disease uh, which might be uh, single or multiple as well vascular bone infarct this again could be single or maybe multiple uh, and as far as the trauma is concerned, so callus uh, appears to be uh, uh, sclerotic, maybe single or maybe multiple. It depends upon the uh, appearances and it depends upon the like occurrence. Uh, let's start uh, looking for all these uh, differential diagnoses for the multiple sclerotic bone lesions. Multiple sclerotic bone lesions can be of uh, developmental origin, which include on the top fibrous dysplasia it also includes osteopyxilosis this is actually a asymptomatic condition in which there is one to ten millimeters small round oval densities can be seen in the appendicular skeleton and in the pelvis the another condition is osteopathia striata these are actually linear uh, bent type densities that's why it is striata is the word used for that happens to be asymptomatic and can be seen in the uh, long bone uh, parallel to the long axis and especially uh, towards the end of the long bones. And the fourth uh, differential uh, for the multiple sclerotic bone lesion is the tuberous sclerosis. Neuplastic activities can also give rise to multiple sclerotic bone lesions. On the top, uh, the metastasis are the one which uh, can cause either uh, solitary or even multiple sclerotic bone lesion and as i mentioned most commonly seen in the prostatic cancer and in the breast cancer uh, lymphoma uh, mastocytosis and uh, multiple healed or healing benign or malignant bone lesion can also be appear as a sclerotic bone lesions multiple myeloma uh, sclerosis uh, can be seen up to 3% of cases and uh, not very common but still we can include multiple myeloma in the uh, sclerotic bone lesions differentials. Osteomata, especially Gardner syndrome, uh, you can appreciate multiple sclerotic bone lesions in Gardner syndrome as well and uh, multifocal osteosarcoma will lead to cause multiple sclerotic bone lesions. Unknown etiology also contribute towards the multiple sclerotic bone lesion and the topmost uh, disease is called as Paget disease and in Paget's disease the sclerotic bone lesions may be solitary or most of the time it would be multiple sclerotic bone lesions. Vascular entity comes to the next, uh, especially bone infarcts may appear as a sclerotic bone lesions but it may also appear either solitary or multiple so sometime there will be a single bone infarct or maybe uh, it may be multiple sclerotic bone lesions trauma comes to the end of the differential diagnosis for the multiple sclerotic bone lesions and callus formation callus especially around numerous fracture if there are numerous fractures multiple fractures compound fractures so the callus of these uh, uh, fractures will appear as a sclerotic uh, lesions and if there are multiple uh, fractures so it will appear as a multiple sclerotic bone lesions.